This is the story of the three little pigs. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when you hear the chimes ring like this. Let's begin now. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who went out into the big world to build their homes and seek their fortunes. Their names were Pfeiffer Pig, Fiddler Pig, and Practical Pig. Pfeiffer Pig did not like to work at all, so he built himself a quick and easy house of straw. Piper Pig then danced off down the road to see how his brothers were getting along. He found Fiddler Pig building himself a house, too. Fiddler Pig didn't like to work any more than his brother, so he was building a quick and easy house of sticks. of sticks was finished. Like the house of straw, it was not very strong, but at least the work was done. Now Fiddler Pig was free to do what he liked, play his fiddle and dance. So while Pfeiffer Pig tooted his flute, Fiddler Pig sawed away on his fiddle, dancing as he played. Off they danced down the road to see how their brother was getting along. Practical Pig was building a house, too, but he was a smart little pig who didn't mind hard work. So he was building his house with bricks. Practical Pig wanted a stout, strong house, for he knew that the big, bad wolf lived in the woods nearby, and little pigs were the wolf's favorite meal. So Practical Pig kept busy smoothing mortar and laying bricks. I built my house of stone. I built my house of bricks. I have no chance to sing and dance, cause work and play don't mix. When the two lazy pigs saw their hard-working brother, they laughed and laughed. See him work while we are gay. He works and works the live long day. He don't take no time to play. Time to play, time to play. Practical Pig looked up from his work. You can play and laugh and fiddle. Don't think you can make me sore. I'll be safe and you'll be sorry when the wolf comes to your door. But the two silly pigs didn't think there was any danger. So they just laughed at Practical Pig's warning. <laughs> The two little pigs tooted and fiddled their way back to their flimsy little houses. Just as Pfeiffer Pig reached his door, out of the woods popped the big bad wolf. The little pig squealed with fright and slammed the door. The big bad wolf called to Pfeiffer Pig. Open the door and let me in your house of straw. Not by the hair of your chinny chin chin. And the wolf took a deep breath and blew the little straw house all to pieces.
When Pfeiffer Pig opened his eyes and saw that there was nothing left between him and the big bad wolf, he took off like a shot. Away he raced to his brother's house of sticks with a big bad wolf close behind. Stop, little pig! You can't get away! But Pfeiffer Pig dashed into the house and slammed the door. Curses! He's safe inside his brother's house of sticks! This time, the big bad wolf decided to trick the little pigs. So he said in a loud voice, well, for me. Guess I'll go home. And he hid behind a big tree. Soon the door opened, and the two little pigs peeked out. There was no wolf in sight. He's gone! Pfeiffer Pig and Fiddler Pig laughed and went back inside. They were sure they were safe now, so they danced and sang. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The big bad wolf, the big bad wolf. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Then right in the middle of all their fun, there was a knock at the door. Who's there? Nervously, the two little pigs peeked through a crack in the door. Outside, there was something in a big basket. It was the big bad wolf again. He had covered himself with a sheepskin and was curled up in the basket, pretending to be a little lost lamb. <laughs> I'm a poor little sheep with no place to sleep. Please open the door and let me in. <laughs> the two little pigs could see the wolf's big black paws and sharp fangs. Not by the hair of your chinny chin chin. You can't fool us with your old sheepskin. This made the big bad wolf very angry. The two little pigs watched him throw off the sheepskin and kick the basket aside. Big Bad Wolf came to the front door and growled. And I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. He took a deep breath and blew the little stick house all to pieces. The two little pigs raced straight to Practical Pig's house of bricks. Stop! Stop, you little pigs! I'll get you anyway! But the two little pigs dashed into the house and slammed the door. Curses! They're both safe in their brother's house of bricks. Practical Pig scolded his brothers. See, I told you what would happen when that big wolf came around. Only bricks and stones are wolfproof. Now at last you're safe and sound. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The big bad wolf? The big bad wolf? Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Who's there? Open the door and let me in! Not by the hair on your chinny chin chin! took a deep breath and blew as hard as he could. He blew till he was blue in the face. But the brick house was as strong and as safe as ever. Well, if I can't blow the house in, I'll go up on the roof and come down the chimney. And I'll catch the three little pigs. But Practical Pig heard the wolf on the roof. Hurry! Light a fire under the kettle in the fireplace. The big bad wolf didn't know that he was right above a kettle of boiling water. Now I'll slide down the chimney. Oh. Yeah. 
the wolf sprang straight up the chimney, toppled off the roof, and scrambled away into the woods. We're safe! shouted the three little pigs. They were so happy they danced and sang. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The big bad wolf. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf?